Well, the aftershocks are still rumbling in Washington following the sudden firing last night of FBI Director James Comey, Assistant Professor of Political Science at Wright State University, Dr. Lee Hanna, uh, joins us now live in studio to break it all down. Welcome in. Thanks for having Lots me. Lots to talk about here. D.C., as you know, is a town full of grizzled veteran politicos. It takes something to throw these people, and they last night and today, they were, they've been completely thrown by this. Yes, I think you're right. I think even members of the White House press team were thrown by by this this firing. It, it seems to have have snuck up on quite a few people uh, outside of the the very tight inner circle of President Trump. When the news broke last night, what was your first blush reaction? I. I, I guess I, I anticipated that maybe there was a another story brewing mm -hmm. that wasn't. It, you know, it's hard to look at this and the, and the timing of it and not think that it's related to the Russian investigation. So in that way, I was I was a bit surprised that he made the move now. It wouldn't have surprised me as much maybe in, in his first week in office, but this timing. It's suspect, and, and we've seen that. Well, even as recently as day 100, of course, there was that countdown of the first 100 days, and on that day, which was April 29th or thereabouts, uh, the president and his people were saying that at that time the president had full confidence in Director Comey. Here we are 10 days later, the guy's fired. So the question is, what changed in 10 days? Yes, and it does look like the, that there's evidence that they've been talking about this for about a week or so in terms of, um, of well, there was some, to, some talk to today get him out. That Trump's been considering this since day one is what they're saying today. Yes, yeah. And again, there is, uh, he has drawn bipartisan criticisms, you know, for, for a number of months now. Comey has. Yes, yes. So in that way, it's, it's, it's reasonable to, to expect this move. It's constitutional and everything else. However, the logic behind why he's done it, that, she, that he was too hard on, on Hillary Clinton, um, that's where, you know, he's going to have a, a hard time proving that that, that is the case uh, as we move forward. There are also, Lee, questions about how this was handled. I mean, Donald mm -hmm. Trump is a guy who created a well-known television persona as a guy who fired people face-to-face -face. <laughs> every week on his TV show. Comey found out about this last night. He was in L.A., out of town, ready to speak to a group in Los Angeles, and saw it on the TV news. And thought it was a joke at first. Right. Thought it was a, a, it an is, elaborate prank. <laughs> it is just bizarre. Yes, it is. It is a very interesting strategy. And, and I think a, a few things as, as you move forward, things to watch. One are Republican leaders. So how do Republican senators speak about this? Uh, also, Trump said in that letter that you assured me three times that I wasn't under investigation. Mm -hmm. um, and I think in, in coming weeks, uh, private citizens and Comey and President Trump are going to be, uh, you know, kind of fighting over what the truth is in, in, that, um, in that realm. So that'll be something to watch moving forward. Yeah, already some word coming out today that private citizens Comey, as you rightly call him, may be called back to testify behind closed doors on Capitol Hill in the coming days. Yes, and so, he's not bound by the same protocols right. as he would as the director of the FBI. All right. <laughs> never dull around here. It is never dull. Never no. dull in D.C. Leanna, thank you so much. Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah. Katie, Brian.